This is one of my favorite times of the year, the early spring, because as a chef, you start to get those first ingredients of the new season. And down here in these river basins, you'll often smell a garlicky smell. And that is one of the best wild foods we can find in the British Isles. And this is it, wild garlic, an absolutely wonderful natural ingredient, really easy to find. Obviously with any wild food, make sure you consult a guide, but it's very long leafed and it smells of garlic. And this early in the season, it's very, very tender. This can go with almost anything that garlic goes with. I'm gonna pick a load of this now. I'm gonna do this wonderful mussel dish, which is really simple, totally West Country. I'm just gonna pick myself a few handfuls. We've just got back from that lovely foraging trip and I've given it a real thorough wash. On to the next part, which is all about washing and preparing mussels. Now these are from Foy. These are fantastic, sustainable, rope-grown mussels. And the great thing with these is there's almost never any beards to clean off them. But if there are any little small beards, you just give them a little tug and you'll get rid of them. But again, these are all being cleaned really well by the people who produce them. The mussels are great, they're sustainable, they're fantastic. There's so many different things you can do with them. People are a bit nervous about them. What you actually need to do is make sure they're alive before you cook them. So any dead ones in here you want to discard. And the easiest way to do that is just to put some cold water on them, fresh water. Give it a good mix around, pour the water off, and then you'll see they've all closed up. So all the ones that were slightly open are now closed. And now it's just a question of going through there and finding ones that are still open. Like this one here is still open. So I'm gonna just give it a little tap on the desk there. And as you can see, it's starting to close. So that's still alive. But any that are still open after fresh water and a tap, discard them because they're dead and you don't want to be eating them. So that is basically how you prepare and clean mussels. Now here's a really, really good top tip. When you normally would use a white onion, use a shallot. Anthony Bourdain said the biggest difference chefs do to home cooks is when home cooks use a white onion, we use a shallot and it's got this wonderful sweet taste. So trust me, get some shallots in your life. So with the shallot, I've got the, the root end here and I've got the knife and I'm just gonna cut it a few times lengthways and a couple of times towards the root end. But just leave the root end intact just so you've got something to hold on to. And then it's a question of just running your knife Okay, so that is shallot. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, right, now let's make the final dish. I've got a pan here with a lid on. So this is, like I say, it's very like a more marinier, but we're just with these very, very local Cornish ingredients. So I've got some butter here, salted butter from Chwith and Dairy. I'm just gonna melt that in the pan. Quite a bit there, there's about 50 grams of butter in there. And then I'm gonna add my shallots to the pan. Right, so I'm just gonna soften them for about three or four minutes. And in the meantime, I'm just going to roughly chop up this wild garlic. So I'm going to fold this through last minute. It does want a tiny bit of cooking. It's not like parsley, which goes on at the very, very end. So now the shallots are nice and soft. I'm going to put the mussels in. Now the mussel juice itself is going to form the sauce. So it's going to emulsify with the butter that's already in the pan. So you don't want that butter to burn. You still want it to be actually cooking away and nice and soft. So in go the mussels. Just... Toss them through like that. And then I've got some Cornish cider here. It's a farmhouse cider. That's gonna go in like the white wine would do with a more marinier. And then just pop the lid on that, and let them open. So they've been cooking for about three minutes. All nice and open. Just gonna get my wild garlic and just pull that in. Give that a toss through. Lost a few in battle there. So there you go. I just take this outside and enjoy it. So here you have it, the most simple and beautiful way to enjoy that wild garlic, just through some mussels with some shallots and of course, some Cornish cider outside. Cornish arms, what could be better? <laughs>